So I am baking this thing for the um, third, uh, let's say third time in a row. I'm doing it in three sections, so it's been basically nine times I've been baking this. And it might actually be coming out pretty damn close to perfect this time around. Uh, this is only my second time doing this with my original piece of glass. And uh, I'm gonna flip over to my front facing camera and we will talk about this. What's going on everybody, it's Art Mike. And like I said, this is my second time, uh, maybe my best time so far, um, working on my Whitestone Dome glass screen protector for the LG V30. Uh, first off, I wanna say thank you to Whitestone for hitting me up in the comments section on both the videos, both my first look and my failure at this screen protector. Um, yeah, first installation of this was not the best. I messed up because of my angle having where I had everything set up here in the bathroom where it was level. I am in the bathroom again right now and that's because in the bathroom, if you guys have ever done screen protectors in the past, if you use humidity, hot water, fill the bathroom up with some humidity, it kills all the dust and everything in the air so that we don't have to worry about getting a lot of little particles stuck in between your screen protector and your phone. So that is why I do this in the bathroom. And uh, this time I made sure everything was level and good. I went through the steps I had seen online about pulling off the screen protector very carefully and very slowly. I'm going to add that into this video. So. I'm going to have to probably speed it up by times 8 or maybe more just for you guys to see that. But uh, let me reheat this one more time. I'm continuously heating this glass just to make sure everything's sealed well. Um, anyway, um, after watching the videos online of other people's failures and their tips, some people are like, oh, let it cure for 24 hours. Those people also don't say that they're using the UV light or not. Uh, I myself, I like using the UV light, bakes it quicker. I mean, you're making sure it's sealed. Yeah, you probably shouldn't touch it for 24 hours, but most people aren't gonna go without their phones for more than like eight, nine hours, 10 hours a night, especially when they go to sleep and get up in the morning. So I'm just baking mine quite a bit to make sure this is sealed. It's centered this time. I have no big bubbles, that's good. I might have a couple little, really, really tiny, like micro bubbles. Um, those might bake out, they might not. It probably won't bother me as much as the bigger bubbles did, that one big bubble I had, and then my screen protector, of course, sliding down before. Um, another thing that works well, when you do peel it off, if you happen to have, if you've ever worked on a cell phone before or uh, have guitar picks laying around by any chance, use those to help hold the screen up, uh, hold the glass up while you're trying to slowly lift it that will that way it's not going to keep dropping back down the screen and trying to reseal on its own um, that helps um, i also sprayed in some uh, glass cleaner solution in between the screen and the screen protector so that way the adhesive wouldn't stick again just in case it did drop back down you'll see that in the time lapse um i did talk with whitestone about the dome glass and their warranty and how all that works um, if anybody hasn't told you guys in the videos before, uh, Dome Glass or Whitestone, they told me in an email, when you get the glass and you get it installed, or even before you install, um, there is their warranty section. It's inside their instructions. They have everything listed in there. They just need your uh, order number, some other ID information from the packaging so they know what model you got, you know, all the fine coating to it. Um, they can warranty it. That way if anything breaks or even if it's a bad install such as mine, you can uh, send it back. But here's the trick to it. Just like with Zag, I'm guessing you might need to pay to ship it back or even if you want to claim it on Amazon as a defective item, it's probably going to cost money to ship back. You are without a screen protector during that time frame while they look it over. So it is almost better to just go on ahead and order another screen protector. Obviously you don't need the UV light this time around. You just need the glass and it will probably come with another rig. I asked um, Whitestone, hey, are you guys going to 
look at selling just the adhesive and the glass for the phones in the future? And they said yes. Um, at the moment, they're not doing it, but they do plan on making it to where they will sell the glass component if you need just another piece of glass. If you still have another bottle of adhesive, then you're good. Um, they'll probably make it to where you can get more adhesive separately. Maybe even another jig if you happen to have one that's bad. Or like mine, when I went to do this the second time here, I pulled open the top panel from the bottom panel and it stuck together because some of the adhesive obviously seeped in to the seal of it and caused the top and bottom section to stick. So I had to carefully peel that apart before I could even use this and do the second install. And yeah, luckily enough, I think I got it perfect the second time. I haven't had to do this like a third, fourth, or fifth time like some people have. Um, I watched a video of this one girl, she's done it like five times. And the fifth time was a charm for her. I am glad I have not had to do it that many times. Um, I'm letting it bake one last time and then we'll take a final look at it and I will add everything, all the other scenes into this video clip. So again, this is a long one. Um, this is, I got it right. I still have another uh, panel of glass and probably another jig on order. It's on the way. I'd rather have a backup just in case. Um, one thing I did notice, I did scratch my glass a little bit on the inside, but being how this adhesive is, it seals any minor scratches as well. I think that's one thing I didn't mention in the last video. If you happen to have some small scratches in your glass, um, just like I think I mentioned in my wife's Pixel 2 XL, she has some small scratches because we didn't put a screen protector on hers right away. We were continuously hunting for something. I think I'm gonna go with this dome glass for hers as well. So, Whitestone, hit me up. If you guys haven't had anybody do videos on that, let me know. Um, I definitely want to see how well it seals, especially she is a, not a scratch that you can really see easily. You have to have it at the right light, at the right angle to see it. But definitely want to see how it does with that. Um, my neighbor, Max, next door, he has that Galaxy Note. S8 that you guys have seen before if you've seen a lot of my videos and he's got a scratch in his He's really interested in it and luckily enough both for him and my wife uh, They don't need to order the UV light. They can just use mine. All it is really is just a nail light a small portable nail light to help bake it properly. So Anyway, I'm gonna flip back to the phone here take off the cover wipe it down I'll check it out and continue on to the time-lapse of me taking apart the adhesive off the old, uh, off the glass originally. Um, so yeah, when it comes to, after getting that adhesive off and you guys wipe this down, um, you'll definitely want something, excuse me, you'll definitely want something strong, like a, something oil-based to help get off any other residue. I try to stay away from anything too harsh because, like I said, I think I may have scratched my glass on the inside of it, but that's my thought that I could see. Um, definitely use some um, nail polish remover afterwards to make sure everything's clean both sides of the glass you definitely don't want any uh, chemical I rinsed my glass off both sides with water and used a brand new microfiber as well just to make sure I'm not getting any chemical uh, creating an issue with bonding with the new adhesive to the original glass so something to keep in mind as well so this is just some tips I know this is gonna be a long video but I hope it helps out anybody else, especially with the V30. I know I don't think many people have done the dome glass. I keep seeing Note 8, S8, iPhone 10, iPhone 8 videos for the dome glass by Whitestone, but I don't see any V30. So hopefully this one helps you guys out. If you like it, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell icon too, and enjoy the time lapse. I'll see you all in the next video. So as you can all tell, first thing I do is power down the V30, uh, wipe it down, make sure we have a clean uh, work area. And as you can see, I'm using my uh, black matted table and that gives me some cushion. So when I do flip this glass over and set it down, I'm not scratching up the section of glass that you feel with your hand. And it gives me a nice soft workspace. So when I am pushing on the glass, trying to rub off that adhesive on the inside, I'm not jacking it up. So as you can see, I started at the end, working my way through using my nails, 
pulling this up and as you go this time lapse is is at eight times the speed and uh i take a break to pick, get a hold of those picks i was telling you about so yeah if you guys have any guitar picks or anybody in the family that plays guitar or if you have a music store nearby go pick up some really cheap guitar picks to help you out with this that way you don't have to worry about the adhesive sticking again to the phone while you're working on this because uh, you definitely don't want to put too much pressure on that glass because you don't want to crack it because then you really are looking at buying a new piece of glass but yeah after about 10 minutes is what this was knocked down to almost two minutes because of the time lapse i finally get it off so now it is time to remove all that adhesive from the inside of the screen protector. Again, this video has been sped up because of the how long it takes to remove this adhesive. Um, I tried starting in the middle. I tried lubricating it with a little bit of eyeglass cleaner. That did not work so well. So I ended up using the dry area and just my fingers and rubbing outward away from the center of the screen. Uh, and trying to split it into a section trying to get the top half done first around all the cutouts for the earpiece and the camera front facing camera and as you can see here uh, in between getting sections done I roll up all the adhesive into balls try to keep it clear and off the workspace so as I go I pick it up and put it on a paper towel that is off to the left side of the frame of our scene here and keeping the workspace clean continue on until you get all this adhesive off so it will take you a good couple minutes take your time be careful make sure you're doing it like i am make sure you're putting that glass on something somewhat soft so you don't have to worry about putting too much play and flex into it because again you don't want to break that glass or else you really are looking at spending 30 to 40 dollars on another kit Second time might be the best time. May have worked like a charm. Brand new D-Brands rag for the win. So, as you can see, I only have, looks to be one little spot right here on the bottom where I had trouble getting the adhesive all the way down there. And it may have peeled back when, uh, when I was pulling the cover off because it got pretty, I got some uh, adhesive coming out of the bottom a little bit so but besides that like the rest of my screen I just have a couple little dots right there and it's not dust it's actual just bubbles Let's see if I can get it to you can see it a little bit right there it doesn't look like dirt to me in it so it looks like bubbles but hey for being the original screen being my second time it's not bad and honestly, when you're inside your app drawer doing other things, you don't see it. So, second time worked perfect for me. Touch sensitivity, still good. Looks nice, everything fits perfectly. This time around, nothing hanging over any lips. Um, one thing I must say that I do really like about this screen protector, I mean, yeah, the cost is something you gotta stomach for it, but it is a nice uh, case-friendly piece of glass and it is not taking away from your touch, touch sensitivity at all. So make sure you guys keep that in mind when you're going through all those cheap screen protectors and you're thinking, man, if I only would have bought this screen protector this first, the first time, probably wouldn't have blown through this much money. <laughs> 